suddenly we find ourselves walking up a granite rock face and there's steps in some places but not in others and we're heading up to the unfinished obelisk sunrises and sunsets here in Egypt are absolutely amazing Could you be any noisier? Yes, you could. Oh. This is where I go away over tea. There's a nice hole you can fall down. Oh, so there is. Not today, thank you. Oh, is this the obelisk? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Nearly know. missed it. So, this is the unfinished obelisk. Can you see the absolutely massive craft down there? That's why she decided to just give it a miss. It wasn't good enough. So, I had to go. Queen had such a, she was such a perfectionist. For the moment, does that mean I have to go? See if we can get another view. This is it. We nearly walked past it. It's massive. Probably we told it was 41 metres long. You can see where the, the ground's being cut into here. All these lumps and bumps. I'm trying to get as close as I can. I'm not actually breaking my neck. Amazing. Truly amazing. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the unfinished obelisk of Queen Hapset Shoot. Totally amazing. And there we go. Oh, the usual tourist Lash. This bazaar is fairly hassle free. You can cope with this. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Cross over and take a look at the other side of the dam. <laughs> See you later, alligator. In a while, look at that. Oh, yeah. Have you spotted one? Yeah. There. Yeah. There. Oh, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I can see ripples on the water, yeah, I'm assuming the ripples. Big fish. Catfish. Oh, catfish. catfish. We're just taking a quick boat journey over to Philly. I've got a hand sanitised first because it's been a week. Five Egyptian pound wheat that she must have had so far. Wow. Oh, yeah. Just 
just have to move you out the way. There was a boat with military looking people on. They're not very keen on your filming the military here. And there in the background, you can see the Temple of Philae. Getting closer. Got to negotiate getting off the boat now without breaking our necks. Nobody. <laughs> also trying to do it without touching anything, which is awkward. Oh, oh you all right? Charlie's just gone A over T. Oh, watch that, Carol. I will do. Thank you. Thank you. Is it a bee? Temple of Philae. It's massive. Is that the Temple of Ars and Nopis? Temple of Ars and Nopis. So, so impressive. Can you see on the left hand side all the damage? That's the Christians. They didn't damage the right because it was covered with mud. They didn't even know it existed. I'm actually having to bend back quite far because it's really, really tall. Um, so well preserved again. A little bit of colour around the bottom. Yeah, there's more colour up the top. It always surprises me when colour exists because the sun is obviously so, so strong. Christian cross. The, those Christians are the ones that did this damage. Such a shame. Just because they are not the gods that the Christians believed in. From thousands of miles. It's not stuck. And my children are more interested in the cats than anything else. I think they've seen a cat before. Tiny, tiny kittens. Scabby, scabby kitten. Hey. Scabby kitten. You can put one in your case if you wish to. Let's see how it goes. If you have a look, you are going to see as well from here very nice fish that have been damaged by Christian. Yes, very good. Here you can see him holding two jars of oil, the lotus of the Paris. This is the most famous oil they or the center of which have been used by Egyptian kings and queens. So when you finish this temple we are going to start to visit is the palace of Perth. We are going to see this is the most famous one in Japan. I'm quite fascinated by the uh, graffiti and some of the dates that are written on. Yeah, 
This is a duftil joint. That's mean if you remember I told you the Egyptian people in the ancient time they didn't use any material. That they are putting stone together. And that's much For that reason you can see that. So you guys are going to see this is the king making offering. Here we refer exactly Hathor. And here you can see the king the wine. And here you can see this is around two feathers. Okay, and here you can see Horus before him. The king is making covering before him, and why Horus giving the royal a scepter. Yeah. That hole was left in the ceiling for light. So here, King Ptolemy, for the throne of Osiris, the guy who burned that. This is a tiny room. Assume and one of the guards sleeps in here. The sacred bark gate. Oh, steep and slippery. Good combination. Do you not want a musical instrument that sounds like a bee? Watch your head. Watch the boat. Watch the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't break the boat. Yeah. Well, that was Philae Temple. We're just about to do the shark run. Shark. 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 Shark.